Hello. I'm going to show here how to fix or change how the TAOE file gets downloaded from Celestrack. Uh, I'm going to change the TAOE updater settings on Orbitron. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, we have to do that because there's a new link format for the download. So all you have to do is to open the settings, open setup, open the TLE updater, and then each one is going to be different. You're probably going to have different groups here or multiple links. So it depends how you want to use Orbitron. In my case, I only have the weather group. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to remove. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to enter a new group. I'm going to call it weather. And then I'm going to add the new link format here on this window. I just open the edit group and I'm going to paste the new link here. That's the new format. Once we do that, just click apply. I can then run the uploader. So that shows me that the download is OK. Right. Then just click OK. You can then update the predictions. That should be fine. All right. So that is that's it. I'm going to add the link for the page where you can find all the links for the downloads. Um, just use the ones that you need that help Celestrack not to be you know, overloaded with downloads. All right. So, uh, and thanks to US Radio Guy for sharing that information uh, for us. Okay. So that's it. I hope that uh, this video explains how easy it is to update Orbitron. All right, thank you.